Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have a quick tutorial. Um, I'm showing you how you can separate your audio tracks, um, more specifically you can separate your mic and your game audio when you're recording your games with NVIDIA Shadow Play. So if you guys don't know what NVIDIA Shadow Play is, well uh, basically it's this free awesome awesome game recorder or game recording program even a desktop recording program that nvidia gives for free in their geforce experience software so if you have any graphics card uh an nvidia graphics card with a i think a gtx 6 uh let me see here in game overlay you need a gtx uh 660 m uh or higher or any G gpu 600 series or higher to have the in-game overlay or the shadow play uh, enabled so if you have that then good you already probably know what shadow play is but a great feature of shadow play not just you know the instant replay where you can record the last 20 minutes of gameplay and not the fact that shadow play is in my opinion the best uh, optimized game recorder uh, as in there is virtually no frames lost at all while you're recording because technically it's are always recording in the background so nvidia made it so that um, when it's recording, you lose zero frames. Uh, I'm not even kidding. I, I really urge you to try Shadow Play. In my opinion, it's the best game recording software out there. Another great feature of Shadow Play that I think was recently added uh, was you're, you're able to separate audio tracks. So basically, if you've you know used Fraps or any, or anything like that or Bandicam, when you have all when you're recording in your gameplay, all your your mic audio, your game audio, even your your chat audio, uh, if you're using Discord or Skype or anything, they're all in one audio track when you put it into your editor, which is a pain to edit. It's basically impossible to edit your audio because it has all the audio in there the game sound the desktop sounds and your mic what shadow play can do and what a lot of other uh softwares can do but now shadow play has it and it's awesome is it separates uh the mic audio into one separate audio track and it puts the game audio into one audio track too for now they only have up to two audio tracks again uh, as i said before the mic and the game audio they don't add a, a feature for a third one um but they probably they might add in the future um probably not they probably stick with just maximum two but uh for now it's really great it's really really useful so to enable this uh what you want to do is actually go to settings here where i am and in about here you have this uh little tick box here that you probably glossed over never really thought about it but it says enable experimental features a geforce experience up update may be required what you want to do is click this so i've already done it and for me it did take a long while just because my, i was having issues with my computer when i tried to do this but basically all you have to do is click this i won't do it again because it's going to take super long for some reason and it might take a while for you so you need to have patience when you enable this feature because it is as it, as it says here it is still experimental this new audio separate tracks but uh, i assure you it does fully work when after you do uh click this button right here and uh, I'll show you how to do it later. But for now, I'll have to just click this, wait for the GeForce Experience to update, the actual software to update, and this may take a while again. So once it's done, you can pause the video, click this button, and then wait until GeForce Experience is fully updated and ready to go. So now once it's all done, you can tell if it's done is if you go to Open In-Game Overlay, and if you go to settings here, make sure you have instant replay off so you can go to settings. And if you scroll down, you have a new tab. It's called audio. So if you see this new uh, option in the settings called audio, you know that you have completed it and you're done it. So what you want to do is go into audio and there it is right here. Uh, as you can see, there's a feature that says separate both tracks. Just click this. It will be green when it's highlighted. Before in NVIDIA Chatterplay, they only had a single track right here. And a single track, as I said before, merges the your mic audio uh, and your game audio all into one track which is basically impossible to edit your audio afterwards now if you click separate both tracks your mic will be in its own separate track and your games will be it's in its own separate track too and you pro i've probably already said that like a million times in this video but if you still don't get it i'll show you when i put it into premiere so click this and uh press back press x and then get your recording uh, done and then uh, i'll see you inside the game and then we'll start recording all right guys so now i am in my game i'm just playing some uh rainbow six siege here so as you can see in the top right corner uh if you see these this a gray or green uh fps counter uh, if you enabled it then uh you know that nvidia shadow plays working now all i have to do is just um you know either open up the menu whether, whether mine is alt x and then you have to press the start recording button uh, I already have a hotkey set, it's Alt Num Minus, so I can easily just do it without having to go into there. So do whatever to do to start your recording, mine is Alt Numpad Minus. As you can see, it says recording has started. So now your recording has started, you can do your video now, you can do your YouTube intro or whatever you want. Play your game, and then when you're done, press the stop recording button again. 
and it will say recording has been saved. So now you can get out of your game and go to wherever you have your video saved. So I saved mine in a separate folder called NVO Shadow Play Recordings. You can change that all in your settings, not for this time, but I have a folder for Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. It actually automatically makes a folder for the game it's recording for you, which is really great. You just go to the game recorded. This is the one right here. It's only 11 seconds. Now, uh, if I open it up here, as, as you can see, it says recording has started. So now you can hear myself there. Uh, now I'm going to show how the audio tracks are both separate once I in my editing software. Okay, so I have Adobe Premiere Pro open up here. Now if I drag in the video clip, putting the file, and if I open, make a new sequence with it, as you can see, if we zoom in here and we expand these tracks, we have two separate audio tracks for uh, our video. As you can see, this one on the top is the game sounds. If I mute it, you won't be able to hear any of the game sounds. As you can see, it says recording has started. So now, now if I put the game sounds up and I mute my voice, you won't be able to hear my voice and you'll only be able to hear the game. Now that is what the genius of multiple audio tracks uh, gives you. So you can do all your editing on it. If you, if one part of the game is overshadowing your voice, it's easy. You can just mute or uh, turn down the volume of that part of the game. I'll show you here. And then you only will have your voice. Do now, you can do your YouTube intro. There or we go. You want. There's so much uh, uh, flexibility and so many, so many more options when you have separate audio track. It's super, super useful. And I'm super, super glad that Nvidia Shadow Play has the feature because now it probably is my favorite game recording software of all time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry it's kind of a longer video. I'm stumbling on my words. It's kind of late at night, and uh, I have to wake up early in the morning. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope it helped you out. And if it did help you, please leave a like. If you do have any questions leave it in the comments below i'll try to help out as many as possible so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace out guys